Moving on to the sixth sum. Given that ABC is a equilateral triangle of side 2A, find each of its altitudes. Now moving on to the solution. Let us assume an equilateral triangle ABC with one of the altitude to BC from A as AP. So that means here AP is perpendicular to BC and AB is equal to BC is equal to CA is equal to 2A here. In right angle, in right triangle APB, we have 2A and we need to find BP. And if you are able to find BP, then it is easy to find the AP length by using the Pythagoras theorem. Now, in order to find the length of BP, let us consider the whole triangle ABC and in those let us consider the two triangles that is APB and APC angle APB is equal to angle APC is equal to 90 degrees since AP is perpendicular to BC and second thing angle ABP is equal to angle ACP is equal to 60 degrees as ABC is equilateral triangle according to AA similarity we can say triangle APB is congruent to triangle APC then we know that when two triangles are similar then the corresponding sides will be in the ratio. Here we get AP by AP is equal to PB by PC is equal to AB by AC which implies we know that AP by AP is nothing but 1 and AB by AC is also nothing but 1 as AB equal to AC in equilateral triangle. So we can say that PB by PC is equal to 1 which implies PB is equal to PC. So as PB is equal to PC and we know that PB plus PC is equal to 2A we get 2 times PB is equal to 2A which implies PB is equal to A. So if we consider in right triangle APB angle APB is equal to 90 degrees so now we can apply the Pythagoras theorem that AB square is equal to AP square plus BP square which implies AB square which is nothing but 2A whole square is equal to AP square, we need to find the value of AP plus BP square which is nothing but A square that implies 2A whole square is nothing but 4A square is equal to AP square plus A square that implies AP square is equal to 4A square minus A square which is nothing but 3A square that implies AP is equal to under root of 3A square that is equal to root 3 times a so altitude is equal to root 3 by 2 times 2a which is nothing but root 3 by 2 times the side 